Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning Python programming language, in the previous video we have seen nested dictionaries as well as how to nest a list within a dictionaries or you can say how to nest a dictionary within a list. And this was the last example we have seen about the, 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 the example was for student data having detail of two students as you can see here. Now here now the, the, in this video we will see one coding exercise. Now what you have to do in this in this exercise in this question you have to add a new entry in this list right because see this is a list having two dictionaries so now you have to add one more entry here and what is the that new entry you have to add this thing like name of the student is Shyam then roll number age and the course opted is C++ four entries so this in a form of dictionary so third dictionary you have to add in this list now you have to define a function okay function name you can take anything suppose you are taking add underscore new underscore student this is the function name now how to define a function and how many parameters you need to pass because you have to add this thing this information whenever you call this function you need to pass these four arguments first name roll number age and or that course opted right now how to define a function how many parameters so how you will add this new entry this new student this is your exercise so now pause the video and try this out okay now let's do it so this is our data this is a database we are having student data this is a list having two dictionaries and and you want to add a new entry in this list and what is that entry suppose this is an entry i'm taking a function name add new student and their name of the student is Sham. then we'll pass second key is what roll number so we'll pass roll number is 22 then age age is 18 and the course opted is C++ so this student you want to add this information so the student should be a new dictionary in the form of a new dictionary because this in the list we are having dictionaries okay how to add so let's define this function first def same name you need to take add new student right bracket we are passing four arguments so you need to be uh, you need to have four parameters you need to give four parameters the name first is I'm giving simply name, then roll number, then age, then suppose, then I hope you remember how to define a function. Def, function name, the parameter, then colon, then. Okay. Now, how to add new element in a list? If you remember the function, we have an append function, right? Append will add in the last one new element but new element is in the form of dictionary so first we would be we should have a empty dictionary and in their empty dictionary we will be adding name sham roll number this age this course c++ like this so new suppose i'm taking name of the dictionary is new student and it is an empty dictionary so in this dictionary first add key and value pair name sham so how to add this thing I guess you know if you have watched that previous video what is a dictionary in Python that thing. So name of the dictionary new student and in bracket just pass the key. Key is as it is this name as it is key you need to pass capital N A M E. So capital N A M E equal to the name whatever you will pass that would be, be in this variable in this parameter name now parameter name is name only variable name is name so name or same name you can take capital N also okay now next entry is new student and next is for roll number so roll number the same see roll number is with one underscore so same you need to give but this is a string so you need to put here quote double quote or single quote equal to roll number this name this this variable name is having no underscore so no underscore this you need to take care right 
whatever you are providing here in the key value and whatever you are providing here this you need to take care because this is case sensitive so you cannot simply put capital letters somewhere and small letters somewhere so next is age equal to the variable name parameter name is same age okay it's okay new student next entry is what course equal to the variable name is course opted so this is how we have created a new dictionary now we simply add this new item new dictionary at the end of the list so list name is student data dot we have an append function append and simply pass this new student this new student this dictionary right and after this calling simply print student data the list student data okay i hope this will work let's run, run this see first is we have name ram and this dictionary second name mohan and this right and third what we have added yes see sham rolamar 22 age 18 and course so this has been added to this list right i hope now you got this there is so much nesting in this thing right so i hope you got this how to do this exercise right this is not so much tough if you are facing problem okay let's same you have to do like just write down this on a paper take a break and then dry run this manually right not just on your laptop dry run this with each line right like this entry will pass then what will happen what will happen and like this definitely will get it right so i guess that's it for this video now now in the next video we will see we will be discussing one more project right so now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care